Hello, today we are looking at adaptations of the digestive system. A couple of videos done on this already, but for now, let's have a little recap of what the digestive system does. So the digestive system digests food, and it does this by making large insoluble food molecules into small soluble food molecules. This is important because these small soluble molecules can be absorbed into the blood. These can be absorbed into the blood. And these small soluble molecules, once they're absorbed into the blood, can be transported all around the body to where they're needed. So let's take a look at the adaptations of the digestive system and how it does its job. So here is a diagram we've looked at before. And we're going to look at the adaptations of the digestive system. This is a more of a 3D version of that diagram. But here we have the small intestine. This is the small intestine that we've looked at before. And if we were to look at a slightly more 3D version of that, so there's just part of a person, there is part of a small intestine, and if we enlarge it, it looks something like this. Okay, now, if we were to just get some idea of what's going on here, the nutrients, the nutrients that are in the digestive system are found in this kind of yellowy area here. So that's where all the nutrients are. And by nutrients, we mean those um, small soluble molecules that the digestive system has produced as a result of digestion. If you remember, this was things like amino acids from proteins, amino acids, also sugars, which are carbohydrates. There are other things as well, but you can look at the previous video just to recap on those. Remember, all these are nutrients that the body needs in order to keep healthy and for a balanced diet. Now, let's take a look at these finger-like projections that are poking out. Here is a 3D version of those. So you can see they are literally like fingers poking out from inside the small intestine. And if we were to focus in on just a couple of those, like those two there, we could actually see what they look like in more detail. So there are a couple of those structures. These are called villi. If you have one of those, if you've got a single one, it's called a villus. If you have more than one, we say villi. And these are really important in the digestive system. And in fact, specifically in the small intestine. We have a blood supply that goes into these villi. So it passes through the villi, comes out the other side and goes to the body after having collected all the nutrients. So let's take a closer look and make a note of the adaptations. So firstly, here's our small intestine and here are two villi. So we have two villi in the diagram here. And just as a reminder, we've got blood flowing into those villi. So we have a good blood supply. This is one of the adaptations, a good blood supply. This passes through the villi and out and off it goes to the body, to the body, carrying all the nutrients. So this is one of the adaptations, a good blood supply. Now, if we look at the reason why we have a good blood supply, this is to absorb nutrients. This is to absorb the nutrients that we have obtained from our food. Along the surface of the villi, if you look at the surface, we not only have villi, but we have smaller structures. So let's just move that out of the way. Let's just have a look at one of those structures and make it a bit larger so we can see it a bit more clearly. These are actually called microvilli. Microvilli. And these are found along the surface of the villi. And between the microvilli and the villi, they have an important job they increase surface area. This is so that more nutrients can be absorbed. More nutrients can be absorbed. 
So the nutrients are found in this area here and they travel into the villi, into the blood, as shown by the arrows. So this is where the nutrients are. And they travel across that big surface area to get into the blood. So that's another adaptation of the digestive system and another adapt adaptation of the small intestine. Now, also in this kind of purpley area here that I'm outlining, we also have the presence of bacteria. We have bacteria. And these are sometimes called gut bacteria. And they are found in the small intestine. And they are actually quite useful because they help to digest some types of food. So they help to digest food. So there's something else that is present there in the small intestine to help with the digestion of food. One final thing is to remember that the surface of the villi, the surface of the villi is very thin. And that means there's only a short distance for the nutrients to travel to get into the blood. Only a short distance for the nutrients to travel to get into the blood. And this makes it easier and quicker to, uh, to absorb those nutrients. So here we have it. These are the key adaptations of the digestive system. And we can highlight those key parts. We've got the microvilli, the villi, two bullet points there relating to those. And we also have a good blood supply labeled on the left hand side. And also don't forget the bacteria that are present there as well. Okay, so these are the key adaptations of the digestive system, specifically the small intestine, which help to absorb the food as it is um, digested and made into those small molecules that we've been talking about.